Today we will be covering one of the most badass e-bikes that's currently on the market. If you've seen the Blade 2 before, then you know there really isn't a whole lot out there quite like it. It's a top tier bike with premium components that really stands out among other e-bikes. And today we are going over the three reasons the FLX Blade 2.0 is in a class of its own. If you were to look around the showroom, you'll see various different models and the components on them. Some are built for the streets, others meant to tackle off-road terrain, some have fat tires, some are geared toward the mountain, and some are skinny for the road. Some have a mid-motor, some have a hub motor which is located in the rear wheel. While the Blade has a mid-motor, like many of our other models, there is one key difference that sets it apart from the rest in our lineup and most other bikes that are currently on the market today. And that brings us to reason one. Put it simply, the Blade 2 has unmatched power. I wanna go fast. It uses a Bafang Ultra Motor with 1500 watts of peak power. Yes, 1500 watts peak power. To put that in comparison, most bikes typically have between 250 and 500 watts of power. As you can see here, I have the Bafang Ultra Motor that's in the blade and the M600 motor that goes in a lot of our other bikes. So this is a 500 watt motor and the 1000 watt motor. You can see them next to each other. This one's almost double the size and it's an absolute Beast. So what does this extra power mean? Well, an average person's typical output is about 250 watts for one hour of sustained riding. So if you do the math, you're able to see that the Bafang Ultra Motor with 1500 watts of peak power is close to having six extra people on, on your bike pedaling with you. So you may be asking yourself, why do I need this much power? Well, first of all, hill climbs are going to be an absolute breeze for you. Not only can you zip up long and steep hills with minimum effort, but you can do so at a speed that's gonna put other cyclists to shame. The second reason, and probably the most obvious, is with that big motor, you're gonna get big time top speed of 40 miles an hour. Yes, that's right. The Bafang Ultra Motor supplies power up to 40 MPH. Wow. This crazy top speed is not only extremely fun, but also incredibly practical. If you're a commuter, imagine what riding at a sustained 30 mile an hour pace will do to your commute as compared to 15 mile an hour pace or a 20 mile per hour pace. Now with all this power, you're going to need a drivetrain that supports it. And that brings us to reason two of why the Blade is in a class of its own. That is, it's incredibly unique drivetrain. While most bikes use a traditional chain and derailleur system, we've completely changed the game and added a Carbon Gates belt drive to the Blade 2. Now this belt is not only much stronger and more durable than a traditional chain, but it also has a lifespan of three to four times longer than a normal chain. In fact, Gates' website estimates a lifespan of 19,000 miles before it needs to be replaced. And for those of you using the metric system, that is about 30,000 kilometers on that Gates belt drive before you need to replace it. But we didn't want to just take their word for it. So again, we decided to put this component to the test. <laughs> the van is off the ground. In addition to the belt strength, if you're one of those guys that likes to go off road and conquer that muddy terrain, you'll never have to worry about rust again. The belt has little to no maintenance, so you can put away that messy chain lube and just ride. Now the belt is only one part of the drivetrain that makes the blade truly unique. 
The shifting mechanism itself is not only an engineering marvel, but a piece of art as well. When designing the blade, no expense was spared, so we decided to equip it with the roll-off 514 speed hub. Now, this differs from a traditional bike in that all the gearing is housed in the rear of the hub. The roll-off is German engineering at its finest and definitely one of the most unique components of the blade. So, what are some of the advantages of this speed hub? By far, the coolest feature is that it enables you to shift gears without needing to pedal in order to get that change made. Now this is extremely practical, especially for those of you who commute or ride aggressively on trails. You can easily jump around a few gears at a time without ever needing to adjust your feet or the position of them on the pedals. For example, this is extremely advantageous for a stoplight or when you're stopping at the bottom of a hill. You can go from 14 to 1, 1 to gear 14, all with a simple twist of the wrist. And again, you do not need to be pedaling in order to do that. Second reason the roll-off speed hub is incredibly beneficial is its wide range of gears. Now you have 14 speeds to choose from, so you can precisely select the gearing depending on the terrain and speed you're riding. On any other mountain bike, you'll typically see nine, maybe even 10 speeds at the most before you need to add a second chainring to the bike, which is a whole nother mess of moving parts and potential failure points. So you probably don't want to mess with that. That means the fact that the blade has 14 speeds and only one chain ring is pretty unheard of. Finally, the speed hub is relatively bulletproof in its design. Think of all the times you've been hitting the trails and had a chain slip or you gunk up your derailleur with mud and then shifting becomes a burden. The roll off components are all internal much like your car's transmission, so you don't have to worry about cleaning or performing all the other maintenance associated with a typical drivetrain. Tall grass, mud, small twigs, and anything else that threatens a traditional derailleur is no longer a concern when you're shredding on the blade. So we've covered its extreme power, we've gone over the unique drivetrain, now it's time to cover the third and final reason the blade is truly in a class of its own, and that is the supporting components that come with it. Too often we see manufacturers produce e-bikes with gimmicky features designed to grab your attention and distract you from the fact there's really not a whole lot else that's special about the bike. Tom Brady has always had a Gronkowski or a Welker to throw to, and just like the GOAT, we wanted to make sure that the sheer power of the blade had a complementary supporting cast of premium components. To start, we have the 52 volt, 17.5 amp hour battery, and for those of you who are quick with the math, that's correct, this bad boy is a whopping 910 watt hours, which means you have the capacity to power the giant workhorse of a motor all day long. Even abusing the motor and pedal assist five, you can still get up to 30 to 40 miles per charge. This number increases to up to 90 miles if you ride it in conservatively and pedal assist level one. Now, these numbers may vary based on your terrain and riding conditions, but not only are you able to get incredible range and power from this battery, but it is also seamlessly integrated with the down tube. While most e-bikes have ugly, bulky batteries that are lazily attached to the frame, the blade's battery tucks in like a baby before bed to fit the overall aesthetic of the bike. And as an added bonus, you can charge the battery in the bike, or if you're at the office, or maybe you live in a cooler climate, you can remove it from the frame and take it inside to charge the battery separately. Now with this crazy performance and speed, you're also going to need top-notch stopping power. It's for this reason you'll receive the blade with not just a dual piston, but quad piston Mugura MT5 hydraulic disc brakes. These bad boys are beautifully paired with the giant 203 millimeter rotors, both front and rear, to ensure not only smooth braking, but the fact that you'll be able to stop on a dime when you need to. To keep the ride as plush and smooth as possible, the Blade 2 is equipped with the RockShox Pike Ultimate Front Forks with 160 millimeters of travel. 
For my non-metric users, the conversion to inches comes out to, uh, I'm just gonna go with a lot, a lot of travel for you guys. And what's really cool about these forks is that you can tune them depending on the terrain you're on and your riding style. The compression and rebound can be set depending on your ride so you get it exactly how you want it. Now, to tie everything together, that piece de resistance, as the French would say, you'll get your Blade 2 with a high-vis color LCD display with all kinds of info from battery percentage, speed, odometer, to so much more. And because it's 2021, you'll get that one piece of gadgetry that no vehicle should ever come without. That's right, guys. I'm talking about a USB charging port. Oh, yes, that's right, folks. Gone are the days of packing an extra battery pack or having the GPS drain your phone battery to nothing when you're only halfway through the ride. You now have the ability to charge devices via USB port and can even use a cell phone mount to run your phone navigation while you're charging your phone. Phew. So that's it, guys everything you need to know about the Blade 2 and what makes it one of the most unique e-bikes on the market today. It's not any individual component that sets the bike apart, but rather the combination of them all. Sure, you can get another e-bike with a powerful motor. The Speed Hub fits other bikes as well. There's even two-wheeled rides out there that have a USB charging port, but to get all this in one single package without sacrificing components or performance elsewhere truly makes the Blade 2 a unicorn in an industry full of donkeys. Now I'm sure many of you out there can confirm what I've said, but if you have anything you'd like to add, please let us know in the comments section. And if you've enjoyed this content or found it helpful in any way, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe so you'll be sure to see all our new videos. As always, guys, if you have any questions or want some more information, send an email to support at flx.bike and we would be happy to help you out. Again, guys, I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.